Hello there, uh, this one here is a quick fix that we usually see uh, some of our clients struggling with when it comes to center of excellence. Uh, and this one here, I think it's a bug because we've encountered it in almost four or five environments uh, with different customers, but this is a quick fix for it. So you navigate to your center of excellence and I'm gonna go ahead and launch mine here. Uh, you have your apps and everything that comes with it, uh, but then I'm gonna go to my app deep dive in my app deep dive, this is where we get the in-depth information about our apps, the archive score and all that. I'm not gonna go into that, that's a completely different video. Uh, but let's say I want to go ahead and get more information about this app. So I have the capability to drill through and if I don't have permissions for it, I can go ahead and request permission. So that's by clicking on the drill through. Uh, that will launch, it's supposed to launch a power app application in your Power BI but you get this and more often uh, you find that it references this specific environment here which does not exist uh, so that environment does not exist anywhere in our sphere or even from the customer's perspective and the reason why i said it's a bug is that this is very consistent on this environment but here's how you go ahead and fix it so i'm gonna this is published so i'm gonna navigate to my power bi desktop and on my Power BI desktop, I will go to the same page. Uh, so you can either go directly to it if you know which page it is, or you can still go to your app deep dive and be, uh, you can go to your app deep dive and um, drill through to it. But the page itself, it's actually a hidden page, uh, which is called manage permissions or manage access. So it's this here and you have both. Uh, it's going to be the same issue even with your flaws. So uh, once you go to this page, uh, what we can do is we need to replace this web part uh, or we need to replace this part here uh, that is um, provided by uh, Power Apps and you see that it should get the same error. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this one a little bit smaller just for the working space here. And what we will do is we will go ahead and drop uh, another app go to our so we're gonna go ahead and drop our power up here and once we drop our power up uh, I want to go ahead and bring in the app ID because again remember we're doing a drill through so this is important uh, because we wanted to filter just with that app and then I also want to bring in the environment ID so once you have those two checked, uh, it will give you access for you to see the environments that you do have here. So we want to change this environment to the one that we do have the COE on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose the app because I want to get the app that comes with this. And then here, uh, what you need to do is look for access. And these are the two that I talked about. So this is the access to um, apps, not to the flow. So you want the one for the apps. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add. Uh, you can, if you want to customize it more, you can go ahead and do that in uh, Power App Studio. Uh, in this case, because I just want to get this one uh, going, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. And you can see now that I do have that. So then I'm going to go ahead and delete the app that I have here. I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to go ahead and resize this uh, so that it can fit what I want. and you can scale it the way you want, uh, however you want yours to look like so that it can fit um, the theme and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and then I will navigate back to uh, my deep dive. Uh, so this is my app deep dive and in this case, I'm gonna pick a different app so let's say uh, we have one here that was created by one of our makers. And I'm gonna go ahead now and drill through to app access. And with that now I'm able to request uh, remove access, add new users. I'm able to do that uh, and you can take out the notification here if you need to. I can be able to email the maker. I can be able to see 
the portals and all that good stuff so now that's functional there uh, i can add new users and whichever one that i want to do for that specific app so that's how you fix it it's a quick and easy fix uh, that um, gets you going all right thank you and have a good day